What's up everybody and welcome to Matty's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making an absolute Scottish legend. Now I'm sure when you think about Scottish food you're thinking about haggis, whiskey, shortbread. Nah! You gotta take all those stereotypes and throw them in the trash and embrace real Scottish food. And every Scotsman knows that the quintessential Scottish food is square sausage. Some people call it lorn, some people call it slice, but that doesn't matter. No matter where you're from in Scotland, every good Scot knows that this slice of meat was brought down from heaven and placed in the mouths of the gracious Scots. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, the most important ingredient is 750 grams of mince. Now I've got two types of mince here. I've got pork and beef. I'm going to be using both of these, but we'll go into that in a second. You're also going to need 150 grams of breadcrumbs, one cup of chilled water, half a teaspoon of ground or grated nutmeg, one and a half teaspoons of ground coriander or cilantro if you're from the Americas, and one and a half teaspoons each of salt and black pepper. Now like I said earlier, I'm making three types of square sausage here because people prefer different types. You can get all beef ones, you can get all pork, and then you've got some that are half and half. So I've split my 750, 250 of pork, 250 of beef, and then 125 of each. And then we're also splitting up the water and the breadcrumbs and all of the seasoning as well. Now if you see there, there's all my seasoning and my breadcrumbs are all mixed together. I just have to split this up into thirds. We'll get mixing, so it's pretty straightforward. We'll start off with the mixed one. Just dump it in there, add in one third of your breadcrumb mixture, and then your water, and you just want to mix it up. Easy peasy, and get in there with your hands, make it nice and dirty. Get that all mixed up together. Now, a lot of butchers won't use breadcrumbs, they'll use pinhead rusk, which is probably the much more accurate way to do it. I would recommend, if you can get some, use that instead, but I'm just going to be using breadcrumbs because I couldn't find any. I don't really have a picture anywhere near me here, so this will have to do. The last step for today is to pack this tight into your tin. A bread tin is ideal to give you the correct shape. You want something that will give you as square a sausage as possible. I've made up these three dividers to divide my three different types of sausage up, but you don't have to do that if you're only going with one type or have smaller tins. I've also covered the tin in cling film, this is a spare one, so it'll be easier to get the sausage out in the morning. A square sausage is packed nice and tight into the tin, I've got this here just to keep it nice and tight because it doesn't fill the whole tin there. So now what we've got to do is just bung it in the fridge and leave that overnight. And we'll come back to that in the morning. Good morning. So it's been 24 hours, this sausage is looking good, it's quite solid, but what we're going to do is stick it in the freezer for no longer than half an hour, just to firm it up a bit, make it easier for slicing. Alright, that's nice and firm, so we're just going to turn this out. Okay, we've got ourselves a serrated knife, so we're just going to cut these into about half a centimetre slices, set them aside for when we need them. Just remember, when you're cutting, just go gently, there's no rush, take your time, you want perfect slices, you don't want to mush it, but there you go, that's one slice, that's how it should come out. That's quite a thick one, the end piece is always a bit thicker, that's the best piece in my opinion. There we are ladies and gentlemen, all our square sausage is sliced up. Ooh. That is looking good. So the top left one there, that's the all beef. That one there's the all pork. And then that's the 50-50. We're going to make a slice of each and see what they taste like. I got from the 750 grams about 13 slices. Some of them are a bit thicker than others. But square sausage, it's a bit rough. Um, I don't have a slicer, I'm doing this all by hand. But they smell good, they look good. I cannot wait to get these fired up in a hot pan and get them cooking. Okay, so I've just heated up a little bit of oil in the pan. We're just gonna fry these for about four minutes each side until the sausage is cooked through. Top 
that's our square sausage done. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? We've got our all beef one, our half and half, and then our pork one there. You could eat this on its own, but the tradition here in Glasgow after a night out on the lash is to have your square sausage in a Morton roll. Ooh, can he be a wee rolling sausage? If you want to know how to make proper Morton rolls, subscribe to the channel and tune in next week for a full recipe. Or if it's next week already, just click the link in the description or it's probably in your cards right now. sausage. We've got our all beef one there, our half and half, and then our fillet pork one there. Now if you would like to find out how to make Morton rolls, or just Morton rolls, uh, please subscribe to the channel and watch next week's video where I'll be showing the full recipe for how to make these yourself. For now, let's, uh, let's dig in. Now, say we try the pork one first. Let's go. Mm. That is nice. It really is the perfect way to eat it as well. Put a little bit of ketchup on there. Tastes really good. Alright, this is the all beef one. I think of the two, I prefer the beef one. In fact, I think that one's nicer, it's more flavourful. I think maybe next time if I was doing it again, I'd maybe add a little bit more salt. Or just maybe add a bit of salt while you're cooking it. I think that would bring out the flavour a lot more. Uh, let's try the half and half one anyway first and see, see how we get on with that. That is really good. I have to say the half and half one is actually my favourite. I think if I was making these again, I would definitely go half and half again. A bit more salt, like I say, a bit more pepper maybe. And that would be absolutely perfect. What I would recommend if you're making these yourself is to use full fat beef or rather whatever the highest fat content beef and pork is that you can get uh, for the ground mince. Just because Scottish food is fatty and disgusting in the nicest possible way and um, making it with full fat stuff is what really gives it all the flavour that you want. I used lean because I'm on a bit of a diet and I'm trying to just <laughs> not eat so much fatty food. But yeah, definitely use the full fat stuff and if you can get pinhead rusk as well um, rather than using breadcrumbs that would make it all the more genuine. But this, you know, for what it is, is still really really nice. Well there you have it ladies and gentlemen, that was square sausage. Please try this yourself if you can't get square sausage where you come from. I imagine if you do live in Scotland, your butcher can probably make a pretty damn good version of this because they know what they're doing. But if you don't live in Scotland, this is how you make it and it's really, really nice. And if you would like to learn how to make more rolls, please tune into next week's video. That's all from me today in Matty's Kitchen. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, share it on Facebook, and also like me on all your social media as well. Thanks very much for coming, guys, and you all take care.